All right, first off for you, I mean, it's been quite a journey for you at Auburn these last couple seasons, but how exciting has it been for you now, you no know, getting consistent starting time? Um, it's been it's been amazing, man. You know, actually, you know, waiting out my time, you know, trusting the process, you know, trusting my craft, trusting my work, and you know, just being out, you know, seeing it, you know, actually being uh working out for me and everything. It's been it's been a blessing. You know, what's it been like? You no know, playing under Coach Pearl. Oh man, it's been it's been a roller coaster, man. It's it's really it's really like it's really like a roller coaster. You up and down a lot, man. You. You, you know, you always running, you always being energetic, always being, you know, like that 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 passion person that you gotta be. And, you know, it's just this has been amazing, honestly. You know, folks may not look at they look at your stats, but it's it seems like you're kind of doing at Auburn what you did at West Memphis, kind of a little bit of everything. You know, what what have just been the things you've just worked and improved on the most on offense and on defense this year? Really, just trying to become a a complete player. You know, I've uh, recently been working on, um, you know, passing the ball. You know, trying to trying to, um, you know, help my t uh, assist to turnover ratio a lot. Uh, you know, I've been in a shooting slump lately, which you know kind of sucks. But I'm definitely in the gym working every day on the shot. Um, your defense, you know, it's just defense. Is, I feel like it uh, it comes natural because how much I study the game as well. Like I study the game a lot more than I feel like a college player should, but. Um, you know, I, I love defense and I feel like I thrive on it a lot and, you know, just everything else just starts to fall into place after that. So. How exciting is it? You, you get another chance to play in your home state this week. Oh man, it's exciting, man. You know, um, you know, last time we was there it was a crazy atmosphere. Um, and, you know, I can't wait to go back out there and, you know, hopefully, you know, um, you know, see it again, you know, be it to be in that process, you know, being be in that atmosphere again because it's always gonna be crazy going up there uh, and playing in, in in the hog city. So you know, SEC play kind of got one more game, obviously, then SEC play starting for you guys. What are just some of the things you wanna like, granted, it's it's New Year's twenty twenty four. What are just some of the things you wanna work on, I guess, in the second half of the season, so to speak? Personally or team wise? Both. Okay, both. All right. So personally, I definitely want to just stay consistent. You know, the thing about me is just always being consistent in play. You know, um, maybe not having the numbers that may maybe not having the best numbers, but always affecting the game in a positive way. And you know, being consistent in that way is my you know it's always been my goal uh, as a team. You know, we just hope to get better every game, learn from our mistakes. We feel like every game that um you know we feel like every game we have potential to you know always get better. So if we keep living by that rule and keep, you know, abiding by that, then I feel like as a team we're going to be, you know, great in this, uh, this conference play that's coming up. Got to ask you about this. You you get, you get to play in one of the more interesting home court advantages in college basketball. What has it been like, you know, playing at Neville these last couple of years? I mean, you guys have been packing the house every single time. Man, it is nonstop electricity in here. Like, I know a lot of places that say they have the – the best fan base, like a lot of colleges, a lot of universities, but I can honestly and truly say it is scary for the opponent to play out in the jungle. You you come in here and you struggle. Like we have so we have so many analytics and everything about you know how teams um thrive in certain areas on the floor. And it's like when they come in here, it's like our crowd is definitely a advantage. They really help us out a lot. So you know, I, I love these fans. I think these fans, these are some of the most loyal fans I ever, you know, encountered in life. So I, I, I'm I'm always blessed to have them in the jungle, you know, packing it out for us and, you know, just having us rocking and excited to play. Last question. What has it been like for you? I mean, representing Northeast Arkansas and Northeast Arkansas has been well represented in college basketball all over the country. What is it? How How cool is it for you to kind of put a stamp on it, too? Oh, it's, it's cool for me, you know, definitely being from Arkansas, uh, you know, and definitely, you know, you know, my uh, my senior year of high school, them being, you know, one of my offers and one of my last choices of schools that I could have uh, went to. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be exciting. I was always exciting playing Arkansas. It's always um, sometimes even more of a personal game just because of, I'm from Arkansas and I'm always going to, you know, pay, probably be more locked in. Um, in that game and more so than others is because, you know, of how I feel about it uh, personally. But, you know, it's always going to be good to put a stamp on that, man, you know, playing those guys, you know, knowing some of those guys and growing up watching them play and, you know, them growing up watching me play. So 
It's always going to be fun and exciting.